Hi, I'm David Feller, Director of Product Management for DVDO, and back again to tell you a little bit more about our AV Lab TPG product, uh, the 4K test pattern generator. And uh, in this video, we're going to show you real quick how it works in conjunction with calibration software, because uh, while in the last video we showed you how to do basic TV uh, display setup, um, to really get the colors right, you need something to help you. It's, it's very difficult to do that with, without uh, some kind of software. There are, in fact, some really great calibration uh, Blu-rays, DVDs, that'll walk you through some steps of the process, but unless you have a meter to really measure the colors on screen, it's difficult to, to really get it right. So this is a multi-step process that if you want to learn how to do it, Frankly, you, you need to go and attend one of the classes, and there's two great groups, uh, two uh, groups that put this training on of how to do calibration. I'm sure there's many others worldwide, but the two we started working with are the ISF group, which uses the Calman software by SpectraCal, um, and we've also been working with the ChromaPure guys that are teamed up uh, with, with THX and, and some other local trainers to show you a different way to do it. They use a different piece of software, but in the end, it all results in this goal of getting the colors that are displayed to be accurate. Well, that's, a, that, that's an hour conversation. What does accurate mean? What, what, what does red really mean? And in fact, it means something slightly different depending on what kind of a TV you have, uh, what the color space is that you're using. Uh, and, and in fact, what, what did the director of that movie intend for that video to look like? So what we want is colors to be accurately reproduced so that you get in your home the same kind of thing you get in a professional uh, studio and, and in fact in a movie theater if, if it's in fact been calibrated properly. So uh, AV Lab certainly works uh, directly out of the box with its remote control, with the on-screen display to do setup, um, but to use it in conjunction with software you really need a couple other things. You need some kind of meter and uh, there's a lot of different styles out there. And again, as part of these classes, they'll tell you about what the different styles are and how to choose one over the other. But literally they range anywhere from a hundred bucks all the way up to tens of thousands of dollars. And the, the variables are how accurate does it measure color and how fast is it? Um, some of the devices that are accurate are very slow and some of the devices that um, are both accurate and fast are very expensive. So it's it's kind of hard to, to choose one that matches your needs. And again, you need some expert help, but there's many devices. Generally they have what amounts to a camera or a sensor device that uh, sticks on the TV or hangs from the TV. And most of them plug in via USB to your computer. Um, I showed you here one from X-Rite. This is another one from X-Rite uh, that SpectraCal uses called the C6. And again, it's got the sensor on it and you open the sensor and basically what you do is you hang it in the middle of the TV. So it's just got a little weight on it behind and the weight just keeps it centered in the right place so that when you're doing calibration, the uh, camera is in fact on the right part of the screen. So sometimes it takes a second to get it in just the right spot. The other thing you need is some software. And, and again, uh, in other videos, we'll show you how this works with other pieces of software, uh, Chroma Pure and some others. Um, but for this training session, we're gonna show it working with the Calman uh, product by SpectraCal. And again, they have many different packages, some uh, very low cost for the consumer if you just wanna uh, run your own TV, all the way up to the professional calibrator that works with the more expensive meters and has a lot more features to you know, really hone in and get those colors right. So while we do this, uh, I'll go back and forth between video and we're doing a screen capture so you can actually see how this works. But what we have is AV Lab connected via HDMI to the TV. So its output is connected to the TV and the input uh, is, is actually USB. So we're connected to the computer uh, over a USB line and that's how we communicate from the software to AV Lab to give it commands to put up specific colors. And then the camera is also connected to the computer via, via USB. So you can imagine kind of a closed loop system where we're uh, choosing a test pattern via software. AV Lab is putting it out and putting very accurate colors out. And at the same time, we're reading those colors back from the camera. So the software is actually saying, okay, here's red, measure red. Is, is red really right? And if not, it shows you a graph and gives you instructions on how to adjust your TV to get red really right. So we won't go through an entire calibration process, but let me show you a few steps. So the first thing you do is 
you bring up the software and you have to choose a workflow. In this particular case, in the tab up at the top, you'll see that uh, we've selected that particular meter. That's the camera, if you will. Uh, that's not the proper term, but the camera hanging in front of the TV that measures the colors. We uh, go here and find source. We've chosen DVDO and in fact, it knows that uh, we are connected and we can in fact uh, give it commands. So let's give it a command to put out, uh, uh, as you saw just a second ago, it was putting out color bars. Let's tell it, let's put out a very pretty magenta color. So you can see here, we've given the software the command to put out the magenta color. Uh, AV Lab received that command and puts up the magenta box. It's a big box. And uh, that's one thing to take a look at is that TVs, very frequently adjust their overall brightness based on how much uh, is displayed on screen. So a really big box could mess up your numbers. So let's go back to the software. One of the things you can do is say, hey, I don't want such a big box. I want, instead of a 25% window, I want just a 10% window. Cool. So let's go back here. We'll do the same thing again. We'll ask for magenta. And now you can see it's a much smaller box. So what that means is, the TV is going to react less to having things on screen and we'll get a more accurate measurement. And in fact, one of the rules of thumb is you want the smallest box possible. So we can actually change that again and go down to maybe 5%. And what that'll do is, is get the size of the window. Well, here's two. Let's see if two works. The only problem is getting super small windows is I may have to go back and readjust where my camera is to make sure it's hitting the right spot. So those are all little things that you're going to do to get started. So there's the camera. And then, uh, and then let's go back to the software. So one of the things uh, Calman will do is we can tell it to do a whole series. And so what this will do is we'll, let's come back here and we'll show you both working at the same time. So here's the computer in a window. So it's going to take white, it's going to take black or 30%, 80% It's pretty typical or 20, 20, 80. And it's going to plot your RGB balance, red, green, and blue balance over the entire luminance range to tell you, is, your, is white really white? And is it white across the entire brightness uh, uh, range? So it'll do that first, and then it'll go plot some colors. And we'll take a look at, are the colors accurate? Now, a couple little tips while it's doing this. Um, you may notice that we've got some nice lights hitting me from the side. Um, and in fact, it's a bright room, there's white walls, Horrible, horrible way to do calibration. You want a dark room, you want no light, you want the only thing putting out light is the TV. Even the computer screen uh, can affect uh, calibration, both uh, white balance as well as the color. So you really want that a little bit away. You want it not facing the TV. So those are all good little tips. But in the end, now you can see we've gone through an entire measurement system. And this tells me that, uh, let's go back to the computer. This tells me that blue is, is too high, and that's expected. That's the way TVs come from the store. Uh, needs calibration. And if you look, uh, the colors are close. Uh, and in fact, it looks like we're in the right color space and things are generally close, but it does need some adjustment. The red dot should, in fact, land right in the middle of that white, that red square. And that square tells you this is the area that's defined as red. And the little dot says, this is what I measured your TV is red. So this tells me we need a little bit of work. And uh, if we just spend, I don't know, an hour or so, uh, adjust the TV, we would adjust red, green, and blue balance on the TV. A lot of times we can adjust gamma. Uh, and then hopefully the TV has uh, color management built in. So in the end, after we get white balance figured out, we can go back and really adjust what is red, both the uh, saturation of that color, which is how bright, uh, it's not really the proper term, but let's use that, how bright is that color and the hue, the accuracy of the red. Is it, is it uh, more green? Is it more magenta? Where, where is that red? So those, those adjustments uh, at those endpoints let us adjust where the dot is in relation to the box. That's color management. Um, and then general calibration, the thing that all TVs will do is at least give you some ability to adjust uh, white balance. So once you get those two things done, I can guarantee, and the setup that we did in the first video, I can guarantee that I'll see the detail on the high and the low, that white really is white across the entire brightness range. And then in fact, all the colors are accurate. So once this is all done, now if you're gonna watch The Matrix or one of the movies that's uh, underwater and it's got a blue 
you know, tense to the whole movie, it'll feel right because you're really reproducing those colors that the director intended. So that's just a real quick overview of uh, calibration and how AV Lab plays into this process of getting a TV set up properly. Thanks.